action? All right. Number one, I, I, I never in a million years would go out to a customer like that. I've always got the sheet folded, or um, on a rare occasion, I'll, I'll, I'll have it down like that. Number two, I think Charlie mentioned it earlier, I, I would bring out a printout of the price that they saw on the internet. Do you, do you guys do that here? I try when I have time, just sometimes you don't, but I, that's what I like to do. Do they have computers on their desks? Yeah, yeah theirs are slow. They could even show them if they wanted to. I was going to say, they could, they could show, it to, to show it to me on the screen, just to, to remind me why I came in, okay? Um, if there, there's, a, there's a trade involved here, um, do you guys print out the KBB instant cash offer sheets to, to justify the trade number? Sometimes we do. Sometimes you do. So usually. On the so I got a usually and I got a sometimes. Long story short, I do the KBB, not the instant cash offer, but I'm doing a quick KBB guide. Yeah. Usually I'm, it's benefiting me when I print that out. Okay, if, if it's benefiting you, that's all that matters. Yeah. That, that's all that matters because KBB is a who said it of the highest magnitude. It's internet evidence. Anytime I can bring out internet evidence to help me justify the numbers, I'm going to do it because the internet evidence has got more credibility than I do. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> Hard to believe. Um, I'll give you my internet story here. I told uh, Bill's heard this, but a couple weeks ago, I was doing a talk in front of people, and I Googled four things. The first thing I Googled was, how can I live longer? Would you agree that that's an important topic? 33 million results popped up. Then I Googled, how can I get the best price on a car or a truck? How many results do you think popped up? More than that. 100, 100 million. Then I Googled, how can I find a good car salesperson? 40 million results popped up. That's sort of the state of our society. I mean, there's more information out there on how to buy a damn car than live longer. Now, those 100 million results, do you think there's any uh, misinformation included? Oh, absolutely. Do you think customers go on the internet and misinterpret information? Sure they do. The people that tell me that there's a 35% markup in these cars or a $15,000 markup in a, in a Tahoe, could they easily verify exactly what the markups in those vehicles are? Could you can go get the invoice online. You can get the invoice online. Um, I can tell you what a thousand dealers in this country, what their average gross profit is on their new vehicles and their average gross profit on their used vehicles. Now, how could, how could I possibly know that? Because they're publicly held companies, and they have to publish their financial results every quarter by law. I can tell you what AutoNation makes on their new cars. I can tell you what, uh, I can tell you the CarMax makes double the profit on their cars that your average new, new car dealer does on their used cars. They make the highest margins of all the publicly held companies. They don't haggle. There's no haggling when you go to CarMax. You're going so to pay through you're your nose. Pay eighteen thousand. If the car is advertised at eighteen, you pay at eighteen. And you're going to pay double the gross profit you would if you came to a franchise dealer. But you know what? There's a certain segment of the population that is willing to pay through the nose, not to meet you, me, or you. That's right. That's the thing. That's the that's the way it is. Okay.